Hello, I'm Tom Ramsour, President of Stanley County Chamber of Commerce, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Stanley Business Review. And tonight I'm pleased to have as my guest George Crooker. George is CEO of the uh, Stanley County Family YMCA, and George, glad to have you with us tonight. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, George, you came to work uh, as the CEO of the Y in late November, I think. Right after Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving. Yes, so you had, you've been very active in the nearly three months you've been here now. It has been a, a whirlwind of information overload, but I feel a whole lot better two and a half months later than I felt that first day. Well, and I, was sure. in, I was involved. I, I think I met the, when you were go, they were going through the search process, I met the, the, I think the finalist at a little reception, and you yes, and I sir. talked earlier, so I'm yes, sir. And really glad that they chose you. And, oh, and, and I'm tickled to be here. Well, very good, very good, happy to be here. Good community. I think you're a good fit oh, already. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's outstanding. We're good. Glad to have you. You were, you were born in Jersey City, New Jersey. Jersey City, New Jersey, back in 1965. All right, good. You didn't have to tell that. But well, that's it's okay. I'm not uh, you're still a lot younger. I'm okay with my age. You're still younger than I am, so that's <laughs> a lot younger. And you were raised in Clemens, North Carolina. Yeah, we came down to Clemens. Uh, we were part of the AT&T migration uh, right around 1980. So I was about 14 yeah. years old when we came down. And you've been in the y, uh, YMCA business for, for 25 years Just now. about 25 years. Started in, uh, I graduated college in the beginning of May 1988. And uh, I, the end of May, I started in the Y and been there ever since. It's the only job I've ever had. You've been... You've been worked at the Reedsville and Gast Gaston County Ys. Greensboro. I worked at the Greensboro Y, which Reedsville was part of. I worked in Gaston County. I worked in High Point, and I was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A little right. change of pace there. Culture, for about culture shock there too. Just right? a bit. Yeah, great, uh, great city. But uh, I missed North Carolina tremendously. And you were there about two years, I think. About was there about two years? Yeah. And you've uh, your wife is Fonda, and yes. you've got two two, two boys, boys, Matthew, a 19-year-old who's in college in Mississippi, and uh, Daniel, who is 16, just about turned 17. He is in high school. Good. So. Well, tell me this: what what led you to apply here to Stanley County, and maybe what appealed oh. to you about this this area? Several different things. Uh, I was I had the privilege of knowing John Louder, the past CEO of the YMCA, for a couple of years. Right. I knew him, and I knew. Through of, Gastonia, probably. Of Stanley right. County, right. through actually through High Point. He right, came okay. up to visit one time. We were right. in High Point, and I got the, the opportunity to meet him. Right. Um, being Baton Rouge is a wonderful place, and uh, I enjoyed it, but again, I, I missed home. My, my parents are here. My wife's parents are here. I find uh, I, I'd rather work in a smaller town. I guess you find a lot out about yourself when you, when you go to different places. Um, I, I found it more rewarding to work in a smaller town. I feel like you're in touch with the community a lot more. And I've enjoyed the smaller towns that I worked in. So uh, when I saw that the vacancy was up, I called John immediately and, and talked to him for a long time. And, and I think it was and continues to be a real good fit. Well, and it is a good place. I mean, I've run, I've, I've run several chambers and I've run in larger communities too. But I mean, I really do like Stanley County because it's it, it is that sense of community. It's sure. e easy to get to know people, and people really do uh, mean what they say. They have been wonderful here right. so far. It's, I have felt more at home here than I have a lot of. And again, big communities are wonderful, but right. you don't get the feeling of, of belonging and right. you don't right. get the feeling of making a difference that you do when it's And that's what I've noticed too, and I really do I enjoy it, run the chamber here too. But um, the mission of the National YMCA, Young Men's Christian Association, mm -hmm. and the mission of Stanley County Y, t tell me what's, what the... Maybe when the YMCA was founded, the mission, if that's changed any? or Well, it, it has changed. A couple of years ago, it, it has changed in name, and it has changed in, in, in frequency. As you know, it there's what we call company lines, and, you know, strong families, strong communities, strong people was it at one time. And, again, it has changed. Right now it's healthy living, social responsibility, and youth development are the three, and again, we call it hashtag. Bottom line, what YMCA's do all over the place is make people better in one way or another, whether that's making somebody healthier, whether that's taking care of someone after they've been sick and need a place to rehab, whether that's giving parents a place to put their child while they're out working and, and trying to make a living, whether it's somebody who, who doesn't have many friends who needs a second family. That's what we're all about, and that's what Y's do. That's what keeps me getting up every morning after after 25 years, sir. Well, now there used to be a YWCA, and so yes. is that still active? Yes, there is still the YWCA. They're totally different. I guess it's kind of like McDonald's and Burger King. They do a lot of the same things, but they're totally. But they're different. not related. To, okay, that's no, something sir. I didn't know. I haven't seen 
many wildlife. There's still a few out there. They're not Raleigh, quite as think, they're not quite as strong as the YMCA, right, okay. but uh, they're they're still there. Well, um, what are you talk about how you're formed locally? I mean, you've got a board of directors. You've got we do how many folks on your staff? We have a board of directors of. 21 people volunteers volunteers and basically what they are in charge of is basically creating the policy and making sure that the YMCA does what it what it stands for they work in conjunction with me and the staff uh, our staff as far as we have seven what we call professional directors and we have overall we have about 150 employees 75 to 85 percent of those employees are part-time Good. So it's uh, we we run pretty lean and, and pretty mean, and we accomplish a whole lot with very few people, which I think you're you're very used to in yeah, your profession. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got yeah, mine's, but, uh, mine's really lean and mean right now. But we, say, have, we have a ton of volunteers. That's yeah, it. can't say can't say enough about them. And as, as you know, the people tremendously dedicated people, both staff and volunteer wise, they've been great so far in helping yeah. me catch up to speed and, and helping me saving me hours of of work that I would have to do by myself. Tell me about some of the programs. If, if, if folks have not been to the YMCA, and I know there are many people that probably have never been through the front doors that sure. just uh, just don't know exactly what's inside. Tell us tell us what programs you offer and well, uh, and, and we do basic, basic what YMCA's have. We have a beautiful facility. We basically have two different rooms to work out in. We have two different swimming pools, a warm water pool and a cold water pool. We do swim lessons, anything pertaining to health and fitness. We do a lot of medical fitness with pulmonary rehab and... Uh, we do a second grade learn to swim program. We do uh, child care programs for our community. We do a little bit of sports with the young ones, with uh, three to six year old children. And uh, we do a lot of work, basically any need that, that is there for the community that the YMCA can fill, we try to do that. We try to be a as much as we can to everyone to make the lives and the quality of life better here in Stanley County. Well, it is a beautiful facility. We're, we're the vision, yes, the, the it, leaders and who had the vision to we have, to build the building and enhance it over the years. Tremendous stewards of the YMCA. George, what are some of the opportunities and challenges you he see here at the Stanley County YMCA? Well, you know, the biggest challenge, just as, as you're well aware of, and I think everybody's aware of since about 2008, is the, the state of the economy. You know, the YMCA is still seen by most as discretionary money, and it, it's one of the first things to go when times get tough. Uh, it makes it difficult on us, but the, you know the good thing about that too is that we also have what we call an open door scholarship program, which is a little bit different. Uh, anyone can come to the YMCA regardless of of whether they can afford it or not. If they have trouble with their finances or, or something going on in their life, there is a way for them to to come and fill out some paperwork and and get into the Y. We try not to turn anybody away because they can't afford the building. So. Uh, what? You know, the opportunities are, I, I see them as endless. Again, one of the, we're doing some community needs assessments, and I think we'll talk about that a little bit yeah, later, right. just to find out what is needed in the community and, and what is being serviced right now and what needs help. We're always looking to help. At the same time, especially in this size community, you don't want to duplicate. You know, if, if there is an aid, and we have fine agencies in this community, if they're out doing something, the Y doesn't necessarily need to do the same thing because we're we're stepping on toes and we're we have you know we we have resources that we don't want to waste. Um, going back to the you know to the economy too. At sure. one time, I know I know you had don't you have a program maybe maybe Stanley County had it some others that have a, a employee program or a, that they can do a. If you're employed at Stanley County, that you can participate in the Y membership, or yeah, there are so. there are certain Y membership um, that basically we don't do any type of employee program as far as discounts. No or discounts, like right? That. Um, usually, if there is a discount, the employee that will be come from the company themselves right, right. that helps pay. Uh, the hospital does a very good, right. very good job of that. But again, anyone can go through our Open Doors program, which right. is our scholarship program. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, we have. Every case is different. They're, they're not two the same. We have some people that make a very good salary. If you're making $50,000, but you have $40,000 worth of medical bills, well, right. then you're in need. Right, right, right. You know, and we're going to help, and we're going to give till we, till we can't give anymore. So. Well, let's, uh, we we're going to talk about, about how to join the Y. Let's just sure. go to that right now. Sure. Uh, how does someone join the Y? And then just, you don't have to get specific on fees, but 
Sure. You know, I know you have family memberships, but they are fairly reasonable. I sure. Think. They're, I think they're reasonably priced. And again, there are ways, if it, if it truly cannot be afforded, there are ways that, that we can give a percentage of a discount to afford it. Best way to join the YMCA is you can, I believe the, the phone number and the website are going across the, the television as we speak. Anybody who wants to come in and have a tour of the facility uh, and, and try it out for a couple of days will be more than happy to help. There is truly something. I mean, it's one of the few things in the world, and what I love about my job is there's truly something there for everybody. If uh, it's it's like anything else in the world, you get out of it what you put into it, and uh, you'll you'll find that uh, it's a great place to be. So if they call the number that's that's going to be on the screen, sure. somebody would could tell tell them about a tour. It, it we would. can tell them about a tour. We'll be happy to get them to the Y. Say you know we're at 427 North First, and uh, I think everybody knows where the Y is. Come on in, come in the front door, uh, we'll take good care of you. And you have any open houses or anything like that? Just uh, that we uh, do from time to time, but uh, again, there's sometimes we do specials and, and things like that. But again, we're, we, we're about bringing people in. Right. So. right. Well, uh, only uh, going to, well, first of all, tell us the hours, too, that, that you're, uh, if somebody's a member and they wanted to go in, what time, what, what time could it, they get it in the morning? Okay, then? hold on for one second. Well, well, no, no, just close. Just go 5, 4 a.m., 5 a.m.? Uh, 5.30 a.m. Right. To, to pretty much about 9.30 at night, okay. 8.30 on Saturday. We're open Saturday, and we're also open Sunday during the, uh, during the uh, winter months. Okay, good, good. Um, you and I had talked earlier, and, and I'll, let me just, we're, we're going to talk about the Association Review, about sure. some programs, that, and this is some opportunities I see, that, and I've talked, I talked to, um, some other folks. Some wise offer business programs. I'm thinking from a chamber standpoint. Sure. You know, anything that would would enhance a business owner, and it may sure. it may network so to get them in the Y to be affiliated with something. Maybe their first or a, a more meaningful impression of the Y would be through a seminar. Sure. And some of those might be. I've seen some some other Ys in Charlotte, particularly could be ethics, business ethics. Sure. Just uh, enthusiasm, uh, you know, just some some motivational talks. Have you ever thought about that? Sure, and well, actually, you know, you and I have had these conversations right, before, we and we look to partner with the chamber in the future to right. to do something like that, to to just a setting where people can come, and relax and, and lean on each other to 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 help them get through. Well, it know? seems like a perfect location. It just seems like yes, you know now the whole thing is you you know you've heard our our guy the. Uh, the annual meeting the other night, Jimmy, about building yes. relationships. That's what it's about. Interesting, uh, interesting gentleman. Yeah, right, he is. And 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 you know, um, you know, sometimes it might it might bring somebody in. It might it might they might become a resource for you on other things too. Sure. And then I'm going to ask again. I, I mentioned the Christian part, but how how do you <clears throat> since you are a Christian based organization, faith based organization, faith based first and foremost, yes, sir. Right. And and so you're do you work with the churches? Do you, do you have some relationship with some of the ministerial associations? We have some of the relationships. One of the other things that we're doing is, as far as the community, one of the opportunities that I think we have is we're one of the few places that, that you can truly say are communicable. Right, right. Sure. <laughs> and, and one of the few places where they can all come together for, right. for a common bond. Uh, I mean, where you don't have to worry about who belongs to which right, church right, and right. what what faith they are and what they celebrate. We all celebrate God and, and Jesus Christ and we all try to, to better ourselves through his name. Right. And uh, yeah, we have talked to a few pastors in the in the area about getting those together, getting them together too and trying to do something, especially with our youth and teens. Well, I, I, I think, think, there's, I think a there's, a, there's a lot of wealth of opportunity there. And anyway, the chamber can help you Thank we you. can do a, a trial we program, can, that would be good. We can always use another partner. Well, I'm, we're leading up now to what you mentioned earlier, the association review that sure. you're having is, I guess it's kind of like a, a self-evaluation sure. or, or a, a, a you know, a process you're going through. Tell us about that. It's more of a self-evaluation is probably the best. We're, we're having people from the YMCA of the USA, which is our parent organization, just come in and look at the YMCA. It's not a test or it's not a pass or fail thing. It's just having them look over what we're doing, everything from the programs that we do to how we operate internally, and, and to take a, a long look and to give some suggestions of how we can improve what we're doing and what we do well already. Uh, it, it's one of probably about two or three different things we're going to do this year, my first year here, to get to gather information on, on where we need to go in the future. I think 2014, we will go into our next strategic plan once we have. But again, I want to gather the correct information 
about our county and about our community before we go into, you know, to, to try to decide what we're going to do for the next two I or think two it's years. a great opportunity to just get a baseline first. Well, and, it's and changes, yeah, changes here or, you know, there, there, there's a change coming. We might as well use that change to our benefit. And I've seen your schedule. looks like you got some pretty, um, I mean, you've got some good, good panelists and, and many good topics. Too. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, and the Chamber's the same way, we think we know our yes. members, we think we know our community, uh, and sometimes we, we, we get a few surprises that we need to, we need to, need to wake up sometimes. And I'm at a wonderful point right now because I don't. Right, right. You know, right. I, I don't know, no, and I, I'm trying. I'm learning very quickly, but again, I'm trying to get a, a good feel for, for what's right, and we're trying as a staff and as a board to, to get as much information and to share it and to, to be the best that we can and be the best resource for our community. I know now that you you have several after school daycare programs. Yes, we do throughout at, the throughout the county. About how many locations? Many churches, we have many six, times. We have six different locations in the community. We'd like to possibly be able to build on that. Um, you know, some of the the problems we have is it's much easier for a child after school to go directly to his school rather than get on a on a bus and be bused to the YMCA. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to advance our child care and the school system has been a tremendous partner in the past and they'll uh, they they want to continue to be in the future they're wonderful uh, now that you've been here three months I know it's, <laughs> it's 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 hard but you must have have seen already some things and maybe your board has some long-term goals that y'all y'all have decided well, over the years just as far as long term we want to keep making sure that we don't forget where we came from, A, that we don't forget who is leading us, which is, which is you know, God himself. That's right. the most important thing that we do, everything in his name. That we continue to be a place for our community where they know they can depend on and they can lean on, and we continue to make people better. Those are the, those are the three big things. How we go about doing that and the science of doing that is what we're gathering all the information. And the for. changing economy, the changing ways we communicate too. There's just sure. a lot of different trying to uh, trying to keep just like the right, chamber, yeah. trying to keep up with everything out there and, and trying to be, you know, again, we have a very diverse population. You know, we basically from the cradle to the grave just about and to make sure that our our older constituents are able to keep up with the technology of the younger can you know I still have to get my kids to help me with the computer half the time right. oh, these yeah, days yeah. because phones uh, and everything else they know right. a whole lot more than than I do but it's you know uh, to make sure that we're able to contact everybody and that we can still keep everybody as part of the family you know one thing that I going back to our annual meeting and Jimmy that let our membership drive last year and, and he talks about a lot to, to our volunteers sometimes they need to hear this is what would your community be if you didn't have a chamber of commerce, if you didn't have a YMCA, sure. who would do the things that that sure. we all do, and and answer the questions? And you know, George, I think it's it's you know it's it's one more it, from economic development standpoint. And that's what you know that's what we're looking at. That's everything. I I think every guest I have on the show, I try to see the business aspect. Sure. When somebody's recruited, when families moving here, you know they're they're sure. um, they're going to ask about schools, hospitals, sure. fitness, YMCA. Sure. And, and all that adds up in our economic development tool bag, I think, as, as one more quality of life. Sure, sure. and it, it is a blessing. Uh, again, tremendous foresight from the board and, and the staff of PASS that we have a, a YMCA, the size that we have right. and, and the ability that it has and the impact that it's making through our community. And I know from the foundation, I know the Cannon Foundation, mm -hmm. originally Cannon Mills, Wiscasset, mm -hmm. probably contributed to Yes, I and would suspect that's well, the main reason the Y is here. Is it was it, yeah, there were days, but there there were also days when the Y first was turned over to the community, right. where we had uh, people like Troy Alexander and people right. like CB Crook out fundraising oh, yeah. to make sure that we could keep the doors open to that Y. Well, CB saying. knows how to raise the money. I he think. sure he, does. He's, uh, he's when a, I when I grow up, I want to be just like him. <laughs> that's right. Well, he 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 still is active. You know, you you know when he's coming, he's got something on his mind. He's been a great supporter. Um, so some of the goals. You and I mentioned about, uh, had talked earlier about possibly a location in the West Stanley area. Yes, there has been some. Or, or well, there has there. been some talk about it. It's a little premature at this date. There have been some talk, I guess, well before 2008. There was a whole lot of talk since the economy has uh, slowed up a little bit. But I think there are still plans of that possibly becoming. There's a lot that goes into it, and uh, the why of the USA is great. Again, our parent organization is great when that comes. There's certain things we look for, the number of people that are in the area, the number of, of 
things that that are, are coming that way, the ability to raise. YMCA's, we don't have a pot of money where we where we're able to say we're going to build the building. You know, that money is Nobody raised does, and that yeah. money is through the through the community. It's not uh it's, it's gotta be like a grassroots a effort. Uh, you know, the fo exactly where, wherever you put a location they if got we were to uh if we were to decide tomorrow that we wanted to uh to to strengthen our presence out there it would take before a physical building came up it would be a good five six years okay. before that happened right. but again we we're doing some programs out there now we hope to be doing more programs out there there's a whole community that we're not serving right now just because we're not close and we need to at least programmatically we need to to see about going out there well, we talked about how folks can contact you or the wife have questions, and we'll put sure. the, the website and phone number again on the uh, on the screen. They can call you personally, I guess, if they need something, right? I'd George Cook? Love to, love to talk to them. What are some parting shots you have about anything else uh, or perceptions or, or ideas for no, the future? Just, again, that, that very blessed to come into a situation where the YMCA is so strong and does have an effect on their community. And, again, we hope to continue to do that and we continue to thrive as as the future goes and in fulfilling any needs our our county may have so again well, pleasure to be here well your enthusiasm is contagious and i think you, you know why is a jewel in our community and i know you want to keep polishing that jewel too i've been uh, i've been put in a very 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 good situation and uh we're, we're going to make it even better well you've hit the deck running we were glad to have you thank fonda you, and your family here in stanley county thank you we appreciate and we, that we thank you for being with us tonight thank you for taking the time sir thank you and we thank you for being with us for another edition of Stanley Business Review. Good night.